Yo what's up guys, this is my 1 to 99 prayer guide. In this guide I'm going to show you a few methods that you can do to get to 99 prayer and on top of that I'm also going to show you some useful items that you can use to help you along your way. And with that being said, let's start off with those useful items. First up we have the first age outfit and this is obtained from Treasure Hunter. There are 5 pieces in this set and each piece gives you a 1% XP boost, however if you are wearing the full set it gives you a grand total of a 6% XP boost. So if you're lucky enough to have obtained this from Treasure Hunter, just make sure that you wear it when you're training prayer. Next up we have the perfect Juju prayer potions, and each dose lasts for 1 hour. The whole potion costs around 70k at the moment so it's really not that much an hour. And while this is active you will gain 5% more XP when you are using cleansing crystals or when you're using a gilded altar. So if you plan on training using any of those two training methods and I'm going to show you how to do them later, then you should definitely be using this. Next up we have urns and this is one of the two different ways of training prayer and these different ways have to do with just killing monsters. What these urns will do is if the monster that you're killing drops ashes, then these urns will automatically pick up the ashes and then put them inside the urn. And then once it's full it can be teleported away for XP. The XP that you're going to be getting is equivalent to 20% more than if you were to scatter the ashes, however these urns just completely eliminate the fact that you have to pick up the ashes and then scatter them yourselves, and on top of that like I said it's 20% more XP. Now there's three different types of urns, there's the impious urn, the accursed urn and the infernal urn. The impious urn only can carry impious ashes, the accursed urn can carry impious ashes and accursed ashes, and finally the infernal urn can carry those two ashes that I mentioned before, plus Infernal Ashes, Tortured Ashes and Searing Ashes. However, I would not recommend using these urns on Searing Ashes since they're worth like 25k each. And if you don't already know, you can get those Searing Ashes from Lava Strike Worms and the Wildy Worm. So yeah, if you plan on training on something like Abyssal Demons or like anything that drops ashes and you don't want the ashes yourself to just pick up and sell, then you should definitely start using these urns. Next up, like I said, we have something similar to the last one and that is the Bone Crusher. The Bone Crusher requires 21 Dungeoneering and 21 Prayer and it costs 34,000 Dungeoneering tokens. This is extremely useful because it automatically buries dropped bones. So if you're just going around killing some monsters and you know that you're not going to pick up the bones, then you might as well just have this equipped or put it in your tool belt if you've unlocked that and just have it get free prayer experience for you. Most people use this with the Demon Horn Necklace, but the Demon Horn Necklace has nothing to do with the way that you actually train prayer. All it does is refill your prayer points by a bit whenever you bury a bone. So yeah, I definitely recommend getting a Bone Crusher. Finally moving on to the last of the useful items, we have the auras. Now there are three different types of auras and they're pretty much the same thing except that they give a different cosmetic appearance whenever you're using them. The first one is the corruption aura, then we have the harmony aura and the salvation aura. Each of these have the same effect and that is it increases your prayer XP from 1% to 2.5% on a gilded altar and this XP just varies and depends on which tier aura that you have. Each of them range from tier 1 to tier 4. I think it will cost you around 110,000 loyalty points in order to get the maxed out aura. So unless you're going for like 200 mil experience in prayer, I wouldn't really recommend it. Alright, so now that the useful items are out of the way, it's time to get into the actual training. First of all, I'm going to show you the simplest training method, and that is just burying bones. Now you shouldn't be doing this unless you're just killing monsters normally, and then you're picking up the bones and burying them manually. You shouldn't just be like buying them from the GE and then burying them, because that's just not cost efficient or time efficient. However, let's just say you're a new player or have a new account, and you just want to get those first few levels of prayer, then just go ahead and bury bones whenever you're killing monsters. You should be able to get from like 1 to 20 pretty quickly, that's what I did on my Iron Man. Then after 20 obviously the levels start to like die down a bit. And then from 20 onwards you can just use any other methods that I'm going to show you from here on out. Right, moving on to the biggest training method and the one that everyone's the most familiar with, and that is using a Gilded Altar. In order to do this you need some bones and you also need some clean Marental as well. All you gotta do is set up your inventory like I have here, just make that a bank preset so you can make banking a lot easier. Then just teleport to your house and light up the two incense burners on either side of the gilded altar and then just offer the bones that you have. You have to make sure that these two incense burners are lit at all times because if you don't then you'll gain considerably less XP. These incense burners stay burning for around 2 minutes and 10 seconds so that will give you plenty of time to offer the bones and you'll have to do it every time that you come back. Also if you have access to a beast of burden make sure you fill that up as well and make sure you take the bones from your beast of burden before the bones run out in your inventory. If you do this then you won't have to right click the altar and then press offer again and it will just like continuously do the bones. Now if you don't have a gilded altar in your house and you don't have a friend that has one that will let you use it then head on over to world 31 and move your house to Yanil. If you don't know how to move your house to Yanil go to this guy in Falador and just ask him to move your house. You are gonna have to pay like 25k to do this but I mean it will be worth it. And then once you've done that just teleport to your house again using your house tab and then outside the house portal there you should see all these people saying that they'll let you use their gilded altar. The people here should tell you the names of the owner of the house, 
And when you have that name, just right click on the portal and press enter friend's house and then put that name in and you should be in their house. Also, if you're going to do this, it is recommended to still bring Morental along because if by any chance that there are not a lot of people doing this and one of the incense burners runs out, then obviously you'll be prepared to relight it. Alright, time to talk about which ashes or bones that you should be using. Now obviously this is completely dependent on how much money you have and how much time that you value over your money. So in the description, I've left a link to a calculator on the RS Wiki and this calculator will show you how much XP that you're going to get per GP that you spend. So using this, you'll be able to tell which ones are worth doing. So for example, let me just take the standard dragon bones as an example, okay? These are currently 6.5 GP per XP, and that is without any buffs whatsoever, apart from the incense burners. So let's say you wanted to get 100k XP, it will cost you 650k GP, and doing these dragon bones will be about 270k XP an hour. However, now let's compare that to Infernal Ashes. Infernal Ashes are around 5 GP per XP, so if you wanted to get 100k XP, you need 500k GP, and these Infernal Ashes will get you around 230k XP an hour. So it's like 40k less XP per hour than Dragon Bones, however it will save you quite a bit of money. So I would actually recommend doing Infernal Ashes over Dragon Bones, especially since they've dropped quite a bit in the last few months, that's really made these Infernal Ashes way more desirable over the Dragon Bones. However, if you wanted to go for something more expensive but more XP per hour, then let's just take a look at Frost Dragon Bones and these are 18.5 GP per XP. Now compare that to the 6.5 of regular Dragon Bones and 5 of Infernal Ashes and that is quite a considerable amount. However that will boost your XP per hour up to like 680,000 XP per hour. So it's like I said before, do you value your money more or do you value your time more? It's really up to you on what you decide to use, I can't just tell you flat out use this, it really just depends on you and your preferences. So like I said, I'll leave a link to that in the description, just check it out and then decide using that. Moving on to our next method and this is really similar to the Gilded Altar. Except instead of offering them on a Gilded Altar, we're going to be offering them on a Chaos Altar. Now this Chaos Altar is in the wilderness, but I highly doubt you're going to get PK'd here. And even if you do, you'll maybe lose like an inventory full of bones. And that's pretty much it, you're not going to be losing much more than that. So this is a really viable way of training. And if you don't have a Beast of Burden, some say it's actually quicker than using a Gilded Altar. It gives you the exact same XP as if you were to use a Gilded Altar with Incense Burners. And then once you're done with your full inventory of bones or ashes, just head south over the wall. Talk to Simon, you can use this guy as a bank, withdraw some more bones or ashes and then just go back to the altar and repeat. Pretty much as simple as that, it's actually really easy especially if you don't have your own gilded altar. It just eliminates the whole going to a friend's house step and it also eliminates the fact that you have to have Marental in your inventory. Also to make this method even faster, if you've completed the hard wilderness tasks, then you can carry either noted bones or noted ashes in your inventory. And then once your inventory is empty, just use those noted items on Harrison which is located within the walls and he will unnote them for you. So it's pretty much just like having an instant bank right next to you and doing this you can offer like 2000 bones in an hour and then that will make this method a lot faster than training on Gilded Altars. However, since you're going to be carrying around a lot of noted items in your inventory, there is a risk that you are going to get PK'd and if you do get PK'd then you're probably going to lose all of it. So it is high risk for high reward but if you're willing to take the risk then by all means go for it. Next up we have the Ectofungus, now if you're going to do this just set up your inventory like I have, you just want an Ectofile and 13 Ashes and then make a bank preset out of it. When you've done that just use your Ectofile to teleport to the Ectofungus and then go down this trap door and then go down the Agility shortcut which requires 58 Agility to go down. If you don't have 58 Agility then you're going to have to go all the way around to the other stairs and then make your way all the way down here and use the Pool of Slime. Once your inventory is full, use the Ectofile again and then all you got to do is spam Worship on the Ectofungus. Then after you've done that, just teleport to the bank, use your bank preset and then do the same thing over again. Now this method will save you some money but honestly it's really not worth it. If I were you, I'd just stick to the Gilded Altar and the Chaos Altar. Now this does save you a little bit of money like I said but the extra amount of time that you have to spend doing this is just so not worth it. The cost per XP is in the same link that I linked earlier. So just take a look at that to reference this as well. And I'm just going to compare a few things here. So Infernal Ashes for example, you'll save 0.7 GP per XP if you use the Ectofungus. However, you're only going to be getting around 60k XP an hour. And that is four times less the amount of XP than if you were to use a Gilded Altar. So that extra bit of money that you're going to be saving just isn't worth it in my opinion. But I did have to just put it in this guide just in case you guys did want to do it. And also I don't recommend using bones on the Ectofungus because that will make you go through another step and you'll have to crush the bones in order to use them. And obviously that just takes up so much more time as well. So just use a Gilded Altar guys. But obviously like I did say, I just had to include it since it is a method of training and it's up to you on what you want to do. Lastly, I have a pretty decent method of training and that is using cleansing crystals. This method is going to be extremely enticing for those of you that enjoy AFKing. In order to do this, just head on over to the Heffin Cathedral which is on the north side of Prif. 
And then once you're here, just click on one of these monks and buy some cleansing crystals from them. Now these cleansing crystals are 110k GP each, so this method is going to be kind of pricey. It comes out to around 11.2 GP per XP. So yeah, it is kind of pricey, but I guess you're just paying for the AFK aspect of it. But anyway, once you have them, just click on the crystal thing in the middle, and then that's pretty much it. You'll see a bar above your head, and then whenever that gets to the end, that means that the crystal is done. And then once that's done, you just have to click on the thing in the middle again, and it'll start a new crystal. Once you run out of crystals, just talk to one of the monks again and buy five new ones. Doing this is around 260k to 290k XP an hour, just depends on whether the voice of Seren is active in the district. And this method is pretty much as simple as that. Remember just use the buffs that I told you at the beginning of the video, and then that will maximise your XP per hour. But anyways guys, that is the end of the video, I hope this helped you. Prayer is a relatively simple skill as you can tell from this video. There are only a limited amount of different methods that you can use to train it, but I just wanted to make this video for those of you that didn't know how to train it. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe if you're new, and peace.